Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna take a closer look at cult leader Nature Boy. To the surprise of most of you guys that are familiar with his content, Nature Boy is no longer vegan. If you've never seen his stuff before, let's have a closer look. I am the most high. I want to let you know that right now. I don't know if you, if, if anybody out there has, a, has that mixed up, I want you to know that I am the most high. Okay. I am the most highest consciousness you can come to within this plane. To you, I am God. I am your Jesus. Period. There is no greater teacher than I. I just want to let you guys know that. There is no teacher greater than I. I have come to fulfill the law and make everything clear and crisp so that you cannot second guess anything. Thank God. All the other teachers were preparing you for me. As you go through your awakening, and you raise your frequency within this realm to get to the highest frequency which you're supposed to get on to be able to leave this realm, you find me. I am the Christos, I am Yahweh. You're looking at Yahweh, you're listening to Yahweh. You should not ever compare me to anyone. If you want to compare me to anyone, you compare me to Jesus Christ. You compare me to a Buddha. You compare me to any master teacher that leads you to the Christos, to the ultimate understanding of life, period. All right, there you have it. That is his spiritual philosophy. He is the highest. He is God. He is Christos. Now let's see how that translated into veganism. You have to be vibrating at an acidic level for you to get pregnant. It is almost a miracle for you to get pregnant. You have to go against the laws of nature to get pregnant. Right. It's a fact. That's a fact. Because simply, <laughs> the body rejects sperm as soon as it enters it, because it's a foreign entity to the body. We are immortal beings. The sperm comes inside of the body and is treated as a foreign entity. Look it up. Look on YouTube and look up sperm rejected in the body. When yeah. fruit enters your mouth, it's natural. It breaks down and the body accepts it. When sperm enters the body, the body immediately rejects the sperm. Yes. So you have to try extra hard to get pregnant. That's why when you become vegan or fruitarian, the sperm cell rate goes down. The <laughs> body's alkaline becomes more alkaline, so the immune system gets more stronger, making it harder uh, for you to get pregnant. Hmm. So if Logic. the male is fruitarian, his sperm cell count, his libido even slows down. Libido. He's not horny like that. He's not really in his animalistic reptilian brain he's activated his plant self he's become <laughs> the the tree he's become the plant mm. his higher self and his higher self sperm cell rates come down all of the trees and all of the plant life are immortal and asexual she won't be able to reproduce huh she will not be able to reproduce that's a fact now you can go do this research because it's a this this blind i'm just here to give you the truth now, <laughs> the male sperm rate goes down. Oh, I'm a living witness, I know. Your levito goes down. You don't want to have sex as much. You're more pure. You don't want to look at everything all sexual. You're at a high frequency of thought. So now that we know that, we know that it's, a, it's going against something natural and pure because the body rejects sperm. It doesn't like, oh yeah, give me the sperm. No, it doesn't accept sperm. It kills sperm cells. All right, so as you just saw, I was hanging back there. I wanted you to get a real impression of this. I didn't want to talk over the video. So now, what do we see there? Full-blown fruitarian, full-blown pseudo-spirituality, I am God delusion, Messiah complex, Jesus complex, leading a cult there and bringing people down to their demise making them infertile right this is what nature boy stood for you raise your energy and you lower your libido but now to all our surprise nature boy had a change of mind let's have a closer look all right it's 2019 and nature boy still doesn't know how to flip his phone thanks bro thanks for ruining the video Everybody, like I said, share the video. Hit that. Yeah, okay, we get it. See this right here? It's a little arrow. Hit yeah. that arrow, Enough send the video. Real simple to everybody you know. 
because I want to help out everybody I can. Yeah, help I'm me out, help everybody you, else nature out. Boy. Right? Everybody will Send see a video. You. They might be like, yo, why you sent me this weirdo shit? They'd be like, don't, don't respond. <laughs> huh? Uh huh. Okay. Get to the point, please. Well, you can come in and enlighten us. Right, Jesus. Come on in. Lord, Messiah. Extra seat over here for you, honey. Honey, bye. And so Nana has some things to share too that's really uh, good information on mm. on why we not vegan anymore. So listen. Oh. Okay. I want to I want to congratulate all the vegans out there for taking a step to cleanse their blood, to cleanse their bodies of all the extra shit that was in there over the years. Mm. You've been vegan for so long. You've been knocking out them veggies. You've been knocking out the detoxing. And you did a good job. You did a very good job. Everything came Thank better. You, you stopped having asthma. Your, your breathing is better. Diabetes is good. Diabetes uh, is good. Glucose levels are straight. Glucose levels are straight. Because you were oversaturated with um, toxins in your body. Toxins. So scientific fact: How weak do you have to be to fall for such a cult leader? You can clearly see that he is a weak-minded person himself, following trends, but people follow him. The blind leading the blind. What we do is we, when, when we're deprived of eating clean, we uh, are become extreme. When we're, when we're deprived of eating clean, we become extreme. Mm -hmm. So now we're extremists. We're extremists. You want to grab? All her? veganism is extreme. We're At extremists least when it up. comes to, yes, we love the animals. Yes, we're mass producing animals. Yes, the, the animal, the animal in industry is, we have meat everywhere. We're over consuming meat. Yes, this is bug the fuck out. Yes, we have to stand up for some of this shit, man. We can't be just uh, treating animals like this. We can't treat them like this. I'm all for that. Trust me, that's what was one of the main reasons why I stopped eating meat. It was for the animal's sake. You know what I'm saying? But it was extreme. People have benefited so much from becoming vegan that they don't even see the deficiencies. Hmm. They don't Which realize one? them. When people are convinced that eating animals are wrong, it becomes uh, a detriment. All right, let me cut it off right there. So we can clearly see that he's still not the brightest light bulb. However, he seems a little bit more grounded. And this is what happens to oh so many. He was leading a cult. He was living in Costa Rica. He had a harem of women, infertile women, that he was manipulating on a daily basis. In that mode, on that sugar rush, your perception changes. And that can go hand in hand with new age spiritual woo-woo belief systems. Where you do believe that you are the enlightened one, the God mind. The reality of things is you're simply running on sugar. Now that he reintroduced the nourishing animal foods, you can clearly see that he is much more grounded and not so godlike anymore. Eating wrong from the day you were born, eating too many toxins, overeating, you know, out of balance, um, was our problem. And so if you're a vegan, you did a good thing. Now let me help you. <laughs> let me help you. <laughs> Please help you me. You need to add meat and fish and egg to your to your to your diet. What? I wouldn't be your friend. I wouldn't be loving to you <laughs> if you didn't add it to the clean the clean food that you're that you're that you're eating. Mm. Um, Thank you. Imagine you had me. your kale wrap with some free-range farm chicken <laughs> with some clean pond water fish that you caught, that you raised. Mm. Um, just imagine that. I want you to imagine the idea of just oh, adding wow. just a little fish and chicken to your, to your diet. Truth. Um, just in moderation, not overeating it, not eating it three, four times a day, but just once a day, just eating it. Now we have some facts behind what we're trying to teach here and tell people about. <laughs> yes, I'm facts. I guy. know you've conditioned yourself to think that that's a dirty uh, thing. Okay, enough of this. You get the idea: of vegans reinventing the wheel after failing on their deficient diet. I believe this is a beautiful example of full-blown mental illness slowly but surely returning into humanity again. 
Now he has a girlfriend here and in the background you can hear a young born baby. So all of a sudden reality knocks on the door and he has to take responsibility. Now he has a child, he has a girlfriend, he eats nourishing foods again, he has to provide for his family and that leads him to become more normal again. Veganism is not normal. Veganism has no ground to stand on. Veganism is a mental illness. Veganism is full-blown delusion and human suffering. This is what we see here. Now I hope that this man can repair the damage that he inflicted upon oh so many of his cult followers and his viewers. He was destroying lives with the message of veganism, the message of infertility. Absolutely disgusting, absolutely repulsive. And now it is time to eat the humble pie. In his case, to eat the humble chicken, the humble wild caught fish. It is about time that nature boy truly returns to to nature. I'm really thankful that we have the chance to see on YouTube in this very day that people can make a change no matter how far they went off the grid. This man was close to becoming the next Charles Manson but returned to be somewhat of a human. I wish him all the best on his journey and the same goes to his young family and the best of health. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.